everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, today I'll be uh, making some rafters for the shop here. I know it's been a while that I've put out some content, but I have a free weekend. I thought it would be a great idea to, to make a new video and get some of this work done. Currently, as you can see, the pitch of the, uh, the, sh the, the roof right here is very low. I want something quite a bit steeper, so I'm thinking about a 45 degree angle uh, roof line. I've got some old pine that uh, a, f a friend and I picked up in the suburbs a few months back, and so I'm going to roll that out to the sawmill and uh, make these rafters. Uh, hope you enjoy. These are the two white pines that I'm going to use for my rafters. Uh, before I put it on the mill, I need to do a little doctoring to them. Uh, first off, this log is around 11 feet long. Uh, my mill can only handle logs to a length of 9 feet to 6 inches conservatively. Um, also, I'm going to need to remove some of these limb stubs before I put them on the mill and drag them over.
when I'm milling logs, I have the smallest end of the log towards the front of the mill. So I start my cut uh, at, the fr at the smallest part. This allows me to know exactly uh, what I'm going to be able to get out of the board. If I start on the larger end, it's going to taper down and then I'm, I don't know exactly how to organize my cuts. This is about a 16 inch in diameter log. Uh, I need to get a cant out of it, and what a cant is, is a square out of the log. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to cut off a top layer, and then I'm going to turn the log 90 degrees, cut off another one 90 degrees, cut off another, and then the end result should be just a, a cant. This is going to be the square, squared up log. So. Time to get doing that now. All right, now that I have my full cant, and my cant is 11 and a half by 11 and a half, I want my rafters to be, uh, I guess, two by five and three quarters uh, is the board. So I'm gonna make five cuts at the two inch mark. I'm gonna have a leftover uh, board of one and a half inches that I'll find something to do with later. And then I'm gonna flip out all of them on the side Smush them together and then make one cut to make uh, to divide all those five boards into ten. Let's get doing that now. There we have it. Uh, I need to set these aside to dry for a little bit. I still have another log to do, but I wanted to show you the gist of what's going on to make these rafters. 
I'm not going to be able to use all of them just because of where the knots are and some of the uh, some of the logs, but uh, I think we have a pretty good batch to work with. So thanks for joining, and uh, please comment.